Hello everybody, my name is Malcolm McNeil and I work for the Fairfax County Park Authority as a natural interpreter here at Huntley Meadows Park. Today, I'm going to show you the wildlife ecosystem here at Huntley Meadows Park. A wetland is an area where water covers the surface of the soil for all or part of the year. Water saturation determines plants and animal communities found in wetlands. Plants in wetlands are adapted to tolerate waterlogged soil and low oxygen. Many wetland animals are aquatic or semi-aquatic. There are different types of wetlands. Marshes are wetlands that have grasses and flowers as the dominant plants. Swamps are wetlands where the dominant plants are trees. Vernal pools are seasonal wetlands. They are pools of water that dry up during part of the year. Some frogs lay their eggs in the vernal pools in the spring. As we explore this wetlands ecosystem, we want to answer two questions. One, how do we know how healthy this wetlands ecosystem is? And two, how do human actions affect the health of this ecosystem? The main abiotic or non-living characteristic of a wetland is water which covers and saturates the soil for at least some of the year. The water level changes throughout the year based on rainfall. Water saturated soil has less oxygen available for plants roots. The plants that grow in the wetlands have adaptations that allow them to grow in waterlogged soil. Wetlands may either be sunny or shady. Swamps are generally shady because they are dominated by trees, and marshes are usually sunnier because they have fewer trees. The plants that we see in the marsh at Huntley Meadows includes floating pennywort, broadleaf arrowhead, and swamp rose mallow. These plants are wetland obligates, meaning that they can only grow in the wetlands. They can grow submerged in water up to six inches deep. Cattails are another wonderful wetland plant that assists in cleaning pollution out of the water, making it easier for a larger variety of life to enjoy our ecosystem. The animals that we see in this wetland are also aquatic or semi-aquatic. There are blue herons and egrets. These birds live close to the water and largely eat fish. We also see snapping turtles swimming slowly in the water, painted turtles sunning themselves on logs, as well as frogs and snakes. Fish swim in the water and dragonflies fly above the water. We see semi-aquatic mammals as well, such as muskrats and beavers. How do we know that the wetland at Huntley Meadows is a healthy ecosystem? First, we'll look at its biodiversity or the variety of plants and animals that live here. Generally, the greater number of individual plants and animals means that there is better biodiversity. If there is better biodiversity, that means we have a healthy wetland. To determine if the wetland is truly healthy, we need to look and make sure that there are plants and animals that are sensitive to pollution. If we only found animals that could tolerate lots of pollution, then that means that we could conclude that there is not a healthy wetland. Humans make an impact on the health of ecosystems. Water becomes polluted when stormwater runoff carries litter and chemicals from the land into streams and other bodies of water. Soil erosion also impacts wetlands. Paved surfaces like roads prevent water from soaking into the ground and increases the amount of storm water runoff flowing across the surface of the land. This runoff causes soil erosion and can erode the banks of wetlands or deposit soil into the wetlands. People can help protect wetlands and other healthy ecosystems by using less fertilizer and pesticides, cleaning up litter and trash, and planting plants and trees in order to help prevent soil erosion. In summary, a healthy ecosystem is identified by good biodiversity or a 
large variety in the plants and animals that live there.